baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Assassin. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Superboy, Doho Chong. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. You ready? You ready? All right, so the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. You've got a submission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this game. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're, un you're in danger the entire time. Nice punch there by Chill. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the punch. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, nice right hand. 
big combination. He got him. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, collar tie. Big ball for punch land. Now we get back to range. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. Now he's going to try to attack Kimura here. And this might just be a matter of time. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Full guard now, DC. For the top fighter, you gotta be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture. But if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hips and get back to your feet. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop the Nice double leg takedown attempt there, and you got to think that's something that's going to give him confidence moving forward in this one. A lot of confidence when it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over again? All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions. And now he's jumping on a triangle. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land a beautiful ground and pound combination. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. That was lightning fast, that right hand. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Choi. Under a minute now to go in this one. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds now in round one. in the books. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round.
opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one. Great timing on that beautiful takedown. Pretty good right hand. Oh, might be able to get his leg here, and he does. about these strikes. They are intending to haunt. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Going right in the mouth. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. A triangle, a triangle. He's to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. See, now he's okay. Now he can escape. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Choi. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing was this sharp. He's never looked this good. Trying to engage in the single body tie. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get this part. Nice job by him to get the lead at the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hip, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Choi's got the full mount. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Choi. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Choi. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. 
Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go flat, chest to the mat. There it is, chest to the mat. Pressure goes down. He'll start to take the air from his opponent. All right, so next round is underway after he came very close to submitting his opponent in that previous round. He came very, very close to get that finish, but he wasn't able to get that little extra squeeze to get the finish. But it's okay. Continue to try and put yourself back in those positions to get the job done. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. And he landed the right hand there. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, look at that. Left up and landed the diving punch to the head. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Nice hammer fist. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Next with a right. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, and even Aaron will right into a heel hook attempt, or so it looks. Man, this is flashy, but certainly effective here tonight. Let's see if he can close the show from here. Oh, wow, oh! work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back. Oh, my gosh. Perfect execution on the Imanari roll. Right into a heel hook now. Let's see if he can submit as a pump. Absolutely incredible. Well, you've got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. 
are working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Choi. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Just misses with the straight right. <laughs> Great punch, landing so much power. terms of making sure that every strike counts, not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, that right hand is on point. Well, a case of pick your poison here if you drop the elbow defensively to lessen the body damage. Oh, oh nice. this out of nowhere. It's flashy but effective. Even Ari roll into a potential heel hook here. This could get interesting. Just over two minutes to go. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Choi. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Well, you've got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, close guard now. You got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, and he's back up again. Those get-ups have been there for him all night. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Choi's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. 
This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. And you're seeing why. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. Punch over the top. That knee might have landed there. And those knees aren't just for effect. Those are doing real damage. That knee might have landed there. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it. That was the right time. That knee might have landed there. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times... Oh, his opponent's got to be more urgent here. That's going to hurt. Got to get out of there. Oh, wow. Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Great punch. Here, just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Left hand punch from the clinch. Oh, DC, would you look at this? The Imanari roll out of nowhere, and now right into a heel hook transition. His opponent has been rendered defensive here. Let's see if he can survive. Oh, nice. All 
he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Arch, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. First position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. The Korean Superboy gets back up again. Oh, nice. oh and even Iron Roll right into a heel hook attempt, or so it looks. Man, this is flashy, but certainly effective here tonight. Let's see if he can close the show from here. out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some real good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Solid strike on the ground. We'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. All right, so an epic 25-minute championship fight here tonight, and it seems like the incumbent has done enough to retain his title. They say every time you're fighting, when you're the champion, you get the biggest, baddest guy in the entire world. So, of course, it's going to be close. But I believe the champ did just enough to retain his title. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. We play the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Hu Ha Chong. All right, so heavyweight title retained as the headline inside this arena here tonight. Congratulations to the still heavyweight champ. Uh, once again, proven.